medicine also says uh, not take it when you're driving, not take it when you are using heavy equipment, especially the first time to see how it's going to affect you. I'm going, yeah, right. Okay. No, I'm sorry. Some people would, no, I'm not sorry. Some people would say, well, if you think it's going to affect you bad, it's going to affect you bad. And I'm like, by the time, I, I don't care. People know themselves. By the time you're 50, you know yourself. And pills affect me. I, even when I took the Zoloft and the, um, all the other stuff I said in the other video, I can't remember what it's called, Paxil, and I was throwing up and throwing up and throwing up, and she's like, you have to take it for 10 days, you have to take it for 10 days, I'm like, how do I get my kids to school, how do I make lunches, how do I do anything, when I'm, all I'm doing is sitting over the toilet, she's like, oh, you're so stubborn. Do you think I went back? I didn't go back. This isn't being stubborn. This is the fact that I am not... I can't get out of the bathroom. I was literally so dizzy and my head was so dizzy and I was so sick and I was so nauseous. I couldn't do anything. How do you expect me to take them for 10 days? I was so tired and dizzy and nauseous. I should not have been driving, but I had to take my kids to school. You can't just give out these medicines and say, well, they're going to make you vomit constantly. They're going to make your head spin constantly. They're going to make you nauseous and dizzy. But take them anyways, because that's just the side effects of what they do. Oh, well, don't drive. I have to get my kids to school. There's no buses. You know, they're just little, they're in kindergarten and stuff, and it's too far, and there's no buses, you know, not the old days. Anyways, I get those, I take one. It makes me vomit and nauseous all day. I've lost a day right there. I don't know. I got this pill in me now that's just making me so ick. And I went through changing. I took that Cymbalta or whatever. It was, that was horrible. And I did stick to that one. I stuck to it for two, three weeks. I think three or four weeks. Oh, man, I could hardly get off the couch. And I stuck to it. I know it was at least three weeks. Could have been longer. Could have been five or something. But I could hardly get off the couch. I was so incredibly out there and sick and dizzy on that Cymbaltra or whatever. Oh, it was horrendous. I just, I was floating and sick and dizzy and oh, I just felt so awful all over. It was horrible. I finally went off it and the withdrawal was insane, but I didn't care. I was going to get through the withdrawal going off it because I just could not stand how I felt. I just all this stuff, just throw it in the garbage and wait to get over it. I was just, it was unbelievable. I don't want to go through this of trying different. I took anatriptyline for about seven years. Now, it didn't affect me like that, obviously, but it made me extremely tired. But I was home. I'd get up and drive the kids to school, and I could go back to bed, and I could go out and get groceries. I could go back to bed, and then get up and make supper do homework with the kids and go back to bed so I took it but then I knew I had to get off it because you know I wasn't home with the kids anymore <laughs> I couldn't just sleep all day so anyways oh my arm's so sore oh that right arm is really bad that lady I had this morning holy smokes it's just flared my arm right up again something horrible Anyways, I took a bunch of my vitamins. Mom gave me ET, which is a Essiac. It's a detox. I've taken it before. I've taken Essiac tea a few times before. This is in pill form, but I have done the tea. It's a cleanse. I've done cleanses over the years. I've done a few different toxic cleanses. MSM. Nah, I can't read it. I don't know, some kind of magnesium, manganese, or, uh, I, I know, it's for pain and inflammation, I'll have to look it up again, 
Oh, D. I got lots of D. I got tons of vitamin D. I got different brands, different companies, different... I got three bottles of different companies of vitamin D. That's magnesium malate. And then... Um, what's that one? Oh, that's digestive enzymes. That's good because it has that bromelain in it, which helps your muscles repair. I don't know if it has enough in it. I should be eating more pineapple, then I could get more bromelain to help my muscles. And I have pineapple down there. That's the preem. That's for my intestines. That's to help my bowels, to help keep the pain out of my stomach because I get pain through my intestines so bad. It's like a knife. I have any gas or air roll through down there, down under the tummy there, add abdomen. Oh, it's like a knife. You might as well just be sending a knife through all those intestines down there, right across underneath the belly button. Any gas rolls across, it's knife sharp. So I find that marshmallow, marshmallow and um, the slippery elm help. And that's that, um, like yogurt, um, I don't know, the words aren't coming to me right now, Anadopolis, but this is in a stable form, so it doesn't have to be refrigerated. I have probiotics downstairs in the fridge, and mom sent me this one, but at least this one here, keep, but it's a type of probiotic. And I have a magnesium complex here, though I might have taken it downstairs. I don't know where it went. Anyways, someplace. And uh, I got my coconut oil and my castor oil I use on my face at night. Anyways, I'm going to stop this getting too long again.